Hello and welcome. In this video I will share with you 15 benefits of cycling and explain to you why cycling is good for weight loss, fitness, and your mind. The benefits of cycling are almost as endless as the country lanes you could soon be exploring. If you're considering taking up cycling and weighing it up against other potential activities, then I'm here to tell you that cycling is hands down the best option. Admittedly, I'm biased since I bike to work every day, but there are an awful lot of good reasons to choose bike riding as your newest pastime. Here are just a few. Number 1. Cycling improves mental well-being. A study by the YMCA showed that people who had a physically active lifestyle had a well-being score 32% higher than inactive individuals. There are so many ways that exercise can boost your mood. There's the basic release of adrenaline and endorphins, and the improved confidence that comes from achieving new things, such as completing a sports competition or getting closer to that goal. Cycling combines physical exercise with being outdoors and exploring new views. You can ride solo, giving you time to process worries or concerns, or you can ride with a group which broadens your social circle. Former record holder Graham Aubrey has suffered from depression through much of his life and now tells everyone dealing with the same issues. Getting out and riding will definitely help people suffering with depression. Without cycling, I don't know where I would be. Number 2. Cycling promotes weight loss. The simple equation when it comes to weight loss is calories out must exceed calories in. So you need to burn more calories than you consume to lose weight. Cycling burns calories between 400 and 1000 an hour, depending on intensity and rider weight. Of course, there are other factors. The makeup of the calories you consume affects the frequency of your refueling, as does the quality of your sleep, and of course the amount of time you spend burning calories will be influenced by how much you enjoy your chosen activity. Assuming you enjoy cycling, you'll be burning calories. And if you eat well, you should lose weight. Number 3. Cycling builds muscle. The resistance element of cycling means that it doesn't just burn fat. It also builds muscle, particularly around the glutes, hamstrings, quads, and calves. Muscle is leaner than fat, and people with a higher percentage of muscle burn more calories even when sedentary. To be clear, you won't end up with quads like a track sprinter unless you invest a serious amount of time at the squat rack but you will develop a nice tone behind. Here's a great muscle building exercise to start with. Smash that like button as hard as you can. Number 4. Enjoy second breakfasts. If you decide to cycle to work, you've got a great excuse to add a couple of guilt-free snacks to your day. Since a half-hour ride to work should be burning between 200 and 500 calories, you've got a license to enjoy a smug second breakfast at your desk. If you're serious about burning fat, you could do your morning ride on an empty stomach, but that's mainly a habit reserved for the most dedicated of nutters. Number 5. Better lung health. You won't be alone if this point seems contradictory to common sense. But a recent study suggests that people who ride a bike are actually exposed to fewer dangerous fumes than those who travel by car. A study by the Healthy Air Campaign, King's College London, and Camden Council saw air pollution detectors fitted to a driver, a bus user, a pedestrian and a cyclist using a busy route through central London. The results showed that the driver experienced five times higher pollution levels than the cyclist, while the walker experienced three and a half times more pollution, and the bus user two and a half times more. Long story short. The cyclist won. Number 6. Cycling cuts heart disease and cancer risk. Cycling raises your heart rate and gets the blood pumping round your body, and it burns calories, limiting the chance of your being overweight. As a result, it's among a selection of forms of exercise recommended by the NHS as being healthy ways to cut your risk of developing major illnesses, such as heart disease and cancer. New evidence was presented in the form of a study conducted by the University of Glasgow. Researchers studied over 260,000 individuals over the course of five years and found that cycling to work can cut a rider's risk of developing heart disease or cancer in half. Dr. Jason Gill of the Institute of Cardiovascular and Medical Sciences commented, Cycling all or part of the way to work was associated with substantially lower risk of adverse health outcomes. Number 7. Cycling is low impact. Many of the upshots we discuss when we talk about the benefits of cycling are exercise related. Reckon it might be easier to just go for a run? Running is weight-bearing, and therefore injury rates are higher. Cycling, by contrast to running, is not weight-bearing. 
when scientists compared groups of exercisers, long-distance runners and cyclists, they found the runners suffered up to 144% more muscle damage and 256% more inflammation. Whilst cycling is less likely to result in an overuse injury, they can still crop up. A professional bike fit is a good idea, skimping here is a false economy if you end up spending more cash on physio. The lack of weight bearing also means that cycling does not do as much to increase bone density as other sports, so it's a good idea to add a little strength training into your program. Number 8. Cycling saves time, money, and the environment. Compare these three experiences. If you go by the car, you'll sit in traffic, queue to get into the car park, then park your car, pay for your parking spot, and finally arrive. If you take the bus, you have to walk to the bus stop, wait for the bus, complain about the bus being late, then get on the bus, pay your bus fare, wait while it stops at every other house to finally arrive about half a mile away from your destination. Riding your bike you simply get on the bike, filter past traffic, lock your bike, and arrive at your destination. Short journeys contribute massively to global pollution levels and often involve a fair amount of stationary staring at the bumper in front. Get on the bike and you'll save on gas or cash on public transport, as well as time. Comment below if you also like saving time, money, and the environment at the same time. Number 9. Cycling improves navigational skills. In the world of car sat navs and Google Maps, sometimes there's just not that much incentive to sharpen your natural sense of direction, however superior or otherwise it may be. Unless you've invested in a GPS cycling computer with mapping capabilities, then getting out and exploring the lanes can provide essential exercise for your internal mapping capabilities, giving you a better idea of which way is west. Number 10. Improve your love life. Most of us know that making love is a good thing, but not everyone knows that it's actually good for your overall health. In fact, regular intercourse could indeed prolong your life. Dr. Michael Roizen, who chairs the Wellness Institute at the Cleveland Clinic, says. The typical man who has 350 orgasms a year, versus the national average of around a quarter of that, lives about four years longer. Similar findings were revealed for women. So can cycling improve your love life? Well, it builds some rather essential muscle groups. Dr. Matthew Forsyth, urologist and keen cyclist from Portland, Oregon, commented. All these muscles worked on the bike are used during intercourse. The better develop these muscles, the longer and more athletic intercourse will be. Add in that, thanks to spending plenty of time showing off all the lumps and bumps in skin-tight lycra, cyclists tend to be fairly comfortable in their own skin, and you've got a recipe for success. Number 11. Sleep better. It probably isn't rocket science that tiring yourself out on the bike will improve your sleep, but now it's been proven. Researchers at the University of Georgia studied men and women aged 20 to 85 over a period of 35 years and found that a drop in fitness of 2% for men and 4% for women resulted in sleep problems. Dr. Rodney Dishman was one of the lead authors and commented. The steepest decline in cardiorespiratory fitness happens between ages 40 and 60. This is also when problems of sleep duration and quality are elevated. Looking for causes behind the link the scientists suggested it could be a reduction in anxiety, brought about by exercise, that elevates the ability to sleep. Exercise also protects against weight gain with age, which is another cause of sleep dysfunction. Number 12. Boost your brain power. Exercise has been repeatedly linked to brain health and the reduction of cognitive changes that can leave us vulnerable to dementia later in life. A 2013 study found that during exercise, cyclists' blood flow in the brain rose by 28% and up to 70% in specific areas. Not only that, but after exercise, in some areas blood flow remained up by 40% even after exercise. Improved blood flow is good because the red stuff delivers all sorts of goodies that keep us healthy, and the study concluded that we should cycle for 45 to 60 minutes at 75 to 85% of max heart rate reserve four times a week. Nothing is stopping you from riding more of course. Number 13. Improve handling and spatial awareness. Cycling isn't just about raising your heart rate and getting you breathless. There are technical elements. Climbing, descending and cornering all teach you to use your body weight to get the bike to go where you want it to. Gaining the skills to manage these technical elements can provide a massive confidence boost, especially when you start to see improvement. Plus, you might just find your abilities to manage that dodgy shopping trolley with the wonky wheels greatly improves. Number 14. Strengthen your immune system. 
Dr. David Neiman and his colleagues at Appalachian State University studied 1,000 adults up to the age of 85. They found that exercise had huge benefits on the health of the breathing system, thus reducing instances of the common cold. Neiman said. People can knock down sick days by about 40 percent by exercising aerobically on most days of the week, while at the same time receiving many other exercise-related health benefits. Professor Tim Noakes, of Exercise and Sport Science at the University of Cape Town, South Africa, also states that mild exercise can improve our immune system by increasing production of essential proteins and waking up lazy white blood cells. Why choose the bike? Cycling to work can reduce the time of your commute and free you from the confines of germ-infused buses and trains. However, there is a caveat. Evidence suggests that immediately after intense exercise, such as an interval training session, your immune system is lowered. But adequate recovery such as eating and sleeping well can help to reverse this. Number 15. Grow your social circle. Cycling is an incredibly sociable sport. Grassroot cycling revolves around cycling club culture, which in turn revolves around a Saturday or Sunday club run. Several hours of riding at an intensity that enables easy chat, interrupted only by a cafe stop. Joining a cycling club or group is an excellent way to grow your social circle, and if you're new to riding, you'll probably find all the maintenance and training advice you may have been looking for. Thanks for watching and if you enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Also comment below if this has motivated you to get on a bike. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.